Hello, welcome to PMLB Media. This is our uh, first live stream. Uh, so, uh, here we go. Um, I'm Little Boy from the Fat Man and Little Boy Show, and I got uh, Darren here from Council Town Sports, and I got BT here from BT on PMLB. And we're going to do a roundtable discussion on a couple sports subjects for you. First thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is uh, Floyd Mayweather uh, and Jeremy Lin. Uh, the first thing was, you know, Jeremy Lin, you know, I'm kind of already getting tired of hearing about him, even <laughs> though. Everything that they're saying about him, I think he deserves. You know, I hear them comparing him to Tim Tebow, which I think is a shame. Because, they just, yeah, they just started that this morning. Yeah. You know, Jeremy Lin's putting up the point, putting up the points, and he's putting up the stats. You know, and uh, uh, but Floyd Mayweather uh, put a, had an interesting tweet. He said, uh, "Jeremy Lin is a good player, but all this hype is because he's Asian. Black players do what he does every night and don't get the same praise." Um, what do you guys think here? We'll start with you, BT. What do you think about that? <laughs> I think Mayweather is... I think it's stupid. I think it's absolutely ignorant. Uh, I think part of it is because he's Asian, but I think that, you know, when was the last time you saw a person come out of Harvard as an undrafted rookie free agent and then, you know, gets cut twice from two teams and then latches on with another team in possibly the biggest market of all sports and then just starts dominating? Yes. What about you? Um, can you read that tweet again? He says, uh, Jeremy Lin is a good player, but all the hype is because he's Asian. Black players do what he does every night and don't get the same praise. No, I'd say 0% of the hype is because he's Asian. I don't think it would matter if he was black, white, Asian. I mean, maybe the Asian fans are hopping on because he's Asian, but the dude's... Asian, fans do, that, that, Asian fans do that with every Asian player well, in every sport. Have you heard that talk? He sounds whiter than I do. Yeah. I mean, I mean, let's <laughs> Which not is act, tough to do. Let's not act like he's like, over, you know, lives overseas. And, I mean, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. No, I think the, the, guy, the, guy, the guy was sleeping sleeping on someone's couch, um, getting cut from team to team. They were actually talking about cutting him the night before he made his first start. And, uh, I mean, listen, the, the, guy's, the, guy's not, the guy's putting up good numbers for somebody you've never heard of coming out of college, somebody you've never heard of in the NBA for just some role player, you know, but uh, we'll see. I don't know. I, I don't know if he I, – I think that he deserves all the praise that he's getting. I think it has nothing to do with the fact that he's Asian. I agree with you As on much that. praise, you think? Um, yeah, I th- because it's, he's somebody who came from nowhere, you know, but now – it remains to be seen whether he's going to be another. Well, we're, I'm going to jump sports here for you, if, and we talked about this before. If it's going to be another Eric Owens situation, you know, um, I think a lot of it does have to do with. I don't, not a lot of it, but partially is because he's the first uh, Asian American with Taiwanese descent to play in the NBA. So I think it does play a part into it. But what does that have to do with anything? Yeah, it's just, I mean, no, it's just like it's like a it's like a black guy playing hockey. You know, how many African Americans do you see playing hockey? Not There's, many, but there are some. Exactly, and I, the I, ones that are good get recognition for it, like Jerome McGinley of Calgary. He is. I've know, never heard anyone say, "Oh, he, you know, he's got a lot of fans because he's black." I've never no, heard. But I'm not saying it's the only reason. I'm saying it's part of it, though. Because you don't see many Asian Americans come into this game, you see that when you think of yeah. the typical Asian stereotype, you think of someone that's only smart. I got an idea, Mayweather. How about you just shut your mouth and quit <laughs> ducking Pacquiao? How about yeah. that? That's what I'm saying. How about you worry about you? How about you worry about yourself? Okay. The, and there's plenty of black athletes, and especially in the NBA, they get way too much run. The, so I, I mean, the, break. The next, the next quote that he, the next thing he posted on Twitter was, uh, "It's okay for ESPN to give their opinion, but I say something, and everybody questions Floyd Mayweather because apparently he's cool enough to speak in the third person." I think a lot of that has to do with him trying to duck Pacquiao. Though. Yeah. I think it's just because you're a scumbag. He says, this is, this is a funny line here, I'm speaking my mind on behalf of other NBA players. They are programmed to be politically correct and will be penalized if they speak up. Do you think there's any NBA player out there that really wants <laughs> Floyd Mayweather speaking for hey, them? Hey, what, Floyd, what do you hey, Floyd, hey, man. Hey, yeah. man. Dude, you got to go out in the media and say something. Yeah. I mean, come on. Uh, I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that he's got hundreds of NBA homies, but uh, <laughs> I, I certainly want to say Floyd Mayweather is the voice of the black player no. in the NBA. I mean, no. it's Floyd's crazy. sounding like he got punched one too many times right in the jaw. Yeah, he never gets punched because he runs yeah. too much. Yeah. <laughs> but no, I think I think this, a lot of this was a deflection from him ducking Pacquiao and it just, <laughs> it just happens to be the tweets about this like two weeks after he, he ducks Pacquiao again. I think it's, I, he is terrified to fight Pacquiao, and I think that's why he tweeted about. I get tired of people saying you're only saying this about me because I'm black. That that's just that's so hard. Over. Yeah, yeah that's and it's easy for for three white, white yeah, guys. Yeah, that, that is true. That is but, true. I'm sure he's I mean, faced. I'm sure he has faced uh, uh, 
racism. Know, racism. Yeah, and I'm sure there's people that don't like him just because he's black. Right. But hey, I, I don't like you because you're scumbag. I'll, I'll tell you what, though. There's a lot of people that like him just because he's black. Just because well. he's black. You know, just we, because of the way you he know, is. If we want to get political, we 100%. talked about this before with Obama. You're going to have people that don't vote for him because he's black, but you'll have people that only vote for him before he's black. Yep. I, think, I think you have that. Yeah, uh, no question. McNabb. Yeah. The first time he ever voted in an election, he voted for Obama. Yeah. <laughs> See? Yeah. <laughs> Let's bring, we're bringing it back to sports. Good job, BT. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right. Uh, uh, I'm going to jump to another uh, complete, a different sport, different subject. Uh, Nick and I kind of had a discussion on this. I, actually, I wish Nick was here for that first one because I know what a big Floyd May, Mayweather fan he is. I'm sure he would have been able to weigh in on yeah. that. Um, we're going to go to the NFL. Uh, NFL head coaches, uh, BT and I uh, disagree a little bit on this. Um, are they overrated? Underrated? Do they get too much credit for teams when they win? Not enough credit? Um, you know, what do you think? I'm gonna, I'll go with you, VT, because I know that you have uh, some strong feelings about this. I do, I do. I, I very much disagree that you think they're overrated. I think, especially last week, like, what's your topic on, take on Vince Lombardi? Overrated? I think, yes. all, I think all coaches are overrated. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You look at coaches like Vince Lombardi, Tom Landry, George Allen. Yes. Good co- all, yes. all good coaches. They're all good coaches. great, but they help set it up. How many of them threw the game winning touchdown? None. I but know. how many of them had an influence in throwing their game winning touchdown? How many people? None. No? None of them. <laughs> I mean, maybe they, they called they the play. <laughs> they they <laughs> called the play. They helped uh, set up the teams, they, the system that they run. So you're telling me that the system has nothing to do with how they play? No, no, not so at all. So you're telling me if you put Tom Brady and, let's see, who, who's a terrible coach? You're only... The, I, see, that, I, see, to me, I think it's tough to judge who's a terrible and who's a great coach because you have coaches that are great who look like crap, you know? And then, I mean, uh, uh, Shanahan, for instance, look how great of a coach he was when him and Elway were together. He was a great coach. And then he was with, before that, he was with uh, uh, the Raiders before that, right? He it's sucked. It's very easy to be a good coach. Now, let's just go around the, the league now. It's very easy to be a good coach when everyone is all on Sean Payton's nuts. It's easy when you have Drew Brees as your quarterback. It's easy when Tom Brady is your quarterback. You know, it's, it's, it's very easy. But, you know, this, let's see what you could do with the uh, Rex Grossman starting at your quarterback. <laughs> so what about, what about John Fox? Is he a good coach? Because um, he, he won in Carolina, and then he comes to Denver where... You're as good as your players are but, in any sport. But so how good is Tebow? He sucks. So... <laughs> John Fox is a great coach because he took a terrible quarterback and went to the playoffs. I'm not just saying I'm not they didn't go to the playoffs. So I, he, I don't think they went. To, that's a whole other discussion. But, but I don't know, think but they I'm went to the playoffs. I'm taking the coaches and quarterbacks because it's a combination. It's not just quarterback though. It's, it's coaches it's, it's, and quarterbacks. It's players. I do think that the coaches do. I personally think the coaches have an influence I mean, on the I team. You know, of course, you know, they're and, overrated. And uh, mm-hmm. uh, and and uh, an argument to the fact of of how good coaches can influence a team is Jim Harbaugh, I think. You know, you have a, a, a coach that comes in, and sometimes uh, sometimes they can make the difference, maybe get a, a, a young team over that hump. But I just think overall, in general, you're going to have a few specific examples, but I think overall, in gen- general, coaches are given way too much credit and way too much criticism for wins and losses. I think that it's uh, yeah. the timing of when they get together with those players, with those particular players. So are we basing this only on NFL, or are we going back to the college? Uh, we were going NFL. Okay. We were talking like, NFL. College, level. college a little college bit different. different because college they do different. recruiting and, and all that stuff. They, they, they only they got that player for four years. Yeah, they, they build from the ground floor up. You know? Right, NFL and they're the ones who, who bring the players there, yeah. too. NFL you know? coaches don't do that. Yeah. No, but I think NFL, I don't think they're completely, they're not 100% for the wins, not 100% for the losses. It's definitely a team effort. But the, the coach is one that assembles the team. And if you have a terrible coach, you have a team that's not going to play for okay. you. They're not going to care. Let me ask you a question. If you, if you had to – let me get your power ranking on the head, NFL head coaches. Who's your number one? Who's the number one? Number one head coach? Bill Belichick. Oh. Okay, Bill Belichick could take – The way, the way he runs his offense. Oh, Bill Belichick man. could take uh, – He's a defensive coach for Bill, out Bill Belichick could take the uh, Cleveland Browns in the playoffs next season? Absolutely not. Because the players but are he's, – But he's great. I mean, he's – no, I didn't say he was great. I'm saying, if you ask me who I want to run a system, an offensive system. No, I asked you who you thought the best coach was. The best coach? I like Belichick. I, I think he's a great coach. I think he way too much, He talks with the I think, I think he's a good coach, but I think he gets way too much credit. I think people are, yeah, but they are all way do. too high on they him. They all do. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so uh, two against one. No, none of us win, but, you know, we no, nobody's changed anybody's minds, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way stuff like players, this happens, I guess. Players win championships. Players do. I, I agree. I agree. You're only as good as your players. Coaches, coaches do have influence, but, uh, but players win the championships. Okay, uh, Peyton Manning. I know that this has been discussed all over the, all over the place, but I thought that we would weigh in a little bit. Um, I, I got a couple questions for both of you. We'll start with you this time, Dee. Uh, what should the Colts do? 
What should the Colts do? What should the Colts do? So you are in charge. I'm the owner of the Colts? Yeah, what do you do? Uh, out of respect for Peyton and what he's done to my organization, I would uh, I would have released him a long time ago so that he could have his pick of, uh, of what team he wants to go to. And okay. I would draft Andrew Luck. How about you, BT? What should they do? They Not what, what you think they'll do, but what, what should they do? BT's in charge today. You get hired today. What do you do with Peyton Manning? BT's in charge today. I'm going to try to restructure Manning's contract. Peyton Manning built that stadium built that team. Right. Indianapolis is Peyton's city. Wherever, if Peyton Manning is to go somewhere, Indianapolis is going to lose a lot of fans to whichever team they go to. I would try to restructure his contact contract and keep him there, but you've got to draft Andrew Luck. You don't have a chance to draft that type of talent. You have to draft it, but I would not let go of Peyton Manning. Now, I, I think they'll lose so many fans if they do. I'm going to not only agree with you, but I'm going to, I'm going to move on to the next portion for me also is that's what I think they should do, and that's what Little Boy today is saying that they will do. Next season, week one, Peyton Manning is starting for the Colts with Andrew Luck on the team. That is Little Boy's prediction. That is what is going to happen. He will, they will release him and then re-sign him to another contract, or they'll restructure so, the contract. So here's, here's a question. But, I mean, Peyton Manning is just going to quarterback the Colts for the rest of his life? No. I mean... It, He's coming off a season where he didn't even play. I know. Okay, I mean, it's time. When Peyton Manning came in the league, he didn't, st- he didn't sit behind uh, anybody. He started game one. Right. Yeah, but I, they, he didn't have a Peyton Manning talent to sit behind. Was, how do we know what Peyton Manning's going to be? He missed we a don't. Year. No, we don't. This is all old. conjecture. We're all just making yeah. predictions here. You know, we're just... just well, actually, we weren't making our predictions yet. We're saying what they should, what we think that they should do. They should absolutely let him go. Yeah. They should have, out of respect for him, they should, they should, they should have done a long time ago. That if way, these he, teams that need quarterbacks... You know, could could start contacting his agent. If he came to the Colts and said, "I would like to, I don't want to be on the same team if you're going to draft another quarterback, Which please release me." Then I definitely think that they should do that. You know, he hasn't come right out into the media and said that. No, but, but they've all beat around the bush that that that's not what either him or Andrew Luck would want. Right. I just so, for some reason I, I I I think they should, and I think that that's what's going to happen. But I want your prediction. I've already made mine now. Um, I did both things. I want your prediction. We'll start with BT this time, actually. BT, I want your prediction on what they will do. Week one of the NFL season, where is Peyton Manning starting? Or where is Peyton Manning, what is Peyton Manning doing? I don't know. From what I understand, some I heard today is he's had a fourth surgery that he hid from the Colts. I found that out today. This is one of those rumors yep. floating around. So he's had a fourth surgery. So it was four surgeries in 18 months. I want him to stay with the Colts. I think the Colts... When they moved from Baltimore to Indianapolis, they destroyed people. They just demolished them. I think they need to stop from doing that. I'm really hoping they keep him, but I think they're going to so be releasing him. Do you so release him? So where is he starting? What's your prediction? Where is he starting? Or what is he doing? Maybe he's not starting. Where? What is he doing? Week one, where are his hands? I hope it's not. But not I hope. Have, where, feel, what's your prediction? I, feel, I have a feeling he's going to be going to either Washington or Miami. Which one? Come on. Oh, my Come on. Get yourself I out there. My team. I don't Get yourself watch. out there. Please, Dan Snyder. Do not pick up Peyton <laughs> That's Manning. Dan Snyder's style, Please. too. You know, Dan I don't Snyder think... Uh, why would Peyton Manning want to go to either one of those teams? I mean, no offense yeah. to your beloved Redskins, but neither one of those teams are going to want to ring anytime soon. Yeah, but you look at the Redskins' defense. They're top ten in the, in the NFL in defense. The only thing they didn't have was a quarterback. For the, for the record, now, you're, you're saying Miami is I'm where hoping. his hands are under the butt of the Miami Center. Yep. Next year, Darren. Yeah, can I, 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 I want to go back. Here. Okay. I, don't don't rush me. Right. <laughs> um, one thing I so so what you're telling me, BT, and I feel like we're having like a little first take thing here. You know, yeah. we're like like you came up with these. I, I don't know if you guys are onto this or not, but no. Uh, um, what you're telling me is these fans, the Indianapolis Colts, aren't fans of the Colts. They're fans of Peyton Manning. When you look at what Peyton Manning has done for that city, no question, he has built that state. Lucas Oil Stadium was built because of Peyton Manning. Okay, and the fans reaction. But the fans are going to be their Colt fans. But Absolutely, but they, you also they, have Peyton I, Manning fans along with the Colt I, fans because a lot of these Colt fans in their twenties, all they've known growing up has been Peyton Manning. There is no bigger Charger fan than me. There is no bigger Philip Rivers fan than me. Philip Rivers gets cut and he goes and plays for the Colts. I'm still a Charger fan. Yeah. I'm not a river, and not only that, not only that, but now I'm rooting for him to lose. As much as I love Phil, hey Phil, I love you, man. Yeah. I love you. You're on a team or you're not. Yes. Yeah, but see, a lot of you know, and I was like, I was like that with LT. I was Rodney Harrison. I was a huge Rodney Harrison supporter to the second he went to New England, but and I couldn't stand him. Drew Brees. Drew Brees, same thing. Drew Brees. I don't know why people. 
Earth blowing through Breeze. I don't get that. Who's got a charger? With this going on, whose choice would it be to leave? It wouldn't be Peyton Manning's. Manning well, I think it's the, a mutual. No, I, I think, think it would be Ursa. You think so? I do. I think that if, if Manning wanted to stay, he'd be out there saying, I absolutely want to stay, and they wouldn't really have a whole lot of choice. I think they would need to make the fans happy. I think that he would stay if he if he really wants to. But I I, I don't know. I I, I move on. You, yeah. Eventually, it's going to happen. So what's where is he? Where is he? Week one, Darren. Where is Peyton Manning? Uh, he's on his couch watching week one with the rest of us. Wow. Retired, huh? Retired, baby. Wow. All right. Redskins come calling. He doesn't want anything to do with that sorry franchise. <laughs> God, I take that, a local I hope not. Over here. That, would that? Be, that would send us back another four or five years. <laughs> yeah. I, just, I just, the one thing I Can don't they want... afford to be set back another four or five years? They're already back. I mean, uh, every time he signs yeah. somebody. Oh, you know what? The Colts have so many more issues than Peyton Manning. You know what? The thing that pissed That's me off about this whole Peyton Manning thing before the season even started is I was predicting them to be like between a four and a six win team anyway. And then... And then Peyton Manning gets hurt, and then, then it just justifies the whole thing. Like, with Peyton Manning, that team is going in the wrong direction. All their stars are getting older. You know, they're, they're, That's a good point. Reggie Wayne's probably not coming back. Um, you know, you got all their stars are just getting older and, and irrelevant. It's, it's a lot more than Peyton Manning that's wrong. Maybe, with that maybe right they now. just need to bring over Bill Belichick and he'll but, just. <laughs> but it just shows, it shows you how important Manning was to that team. Without, no, no, he was. Yeah, without, he still Manning, Manning bought that team eight to ten wins a year. Yeah, but who, what what cor- I mean, what star quarterback isn't that important? What happens to the Chargers? I know the Chargers didn't make the playoffs but this year. Look, look, what back, look at back at what, Brady. He at least had a defense when he won championships. He had Bruce. What happens? What happens this year if What happens this year if Brady what didn't play? Remember the one year Brady didn't play, they didn't make the playoffs. Yeah, well, yeah. It shows With how important the quarterback they had that year, is to the team. And that's how you can tell an elite quarterback what would, from would they have made There's the no team. argument that he's an elite yeah. quarterback. He's an old elite quarterback that's coming off who, who, who knows how many neck surgeries. Yeah, look, right. I mean, Hasn't how, played in a year. He's not even sure he can get his arm strength back yet. Right. Yeah. So, so saying that the Colts, I mean, we're basically just saying the name Peyton Manning has to stay with the Colts. Is basically what we're saying. We don't even know if he can throw the ball 30 guys. That's true. I, I, that's, I'm just making my prediction. I think that he will be back. I do. I think he'll be back. I think he'll be back with the Colts week one. I, I hope so, but I don't think so. It's going to be messy. So. And Andrew Luck is holding the clipboard? Yeah. It's going to be messy quick. As much as people think that, uh, that it's a, a good idea for these guys to start right away, I am actually a fan of them sitting and watching for a year. Yeah. I don't have a problem with that, gotcha. especially the way they've restructured contracts. You can afford to do it now. Worked out, worked out all right for guys like Philip Rivers yeah. and Riders. Yeah. Like those are two, yeah, two no, big, I'm not saying. Yeah. I'm not saying that's a bad idea. Aaron Rodgers is a great point. I, 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 I just don't, I just don't get this whole, uh, you know, I pay, eventually Peyton Manning is not going to be quarterback in the Colts. Right. Whether he retires, whether he does whatever, he's going to have a – he's got a bright future in something, let me tell you. I mean, whether it's acting or whatever. But, uh, <laughs> but it's, just time, it's time to turn the page, man. The what, thing, what better time than you're coming off a, what, 2-1 season? Yeah. What better time to turn the page than now? The one thing I don't want to see is another Brett Favre. Going from team to team, team. I, I, don't, I, think he's do that. I don't think he's going to do. It. I don't think that that's his style. I think that if he were to change teams, it'd not be one team. Let's not confuse two. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't way you think <laughs> quarterbacks can play to their older? I just it's the one thing I don't want to see. I don't want him to, yeah. have to want him to say, "Well, they got rid of me. I want to go prove to them for years now." I don't think that's it. I still don't think that they're getting rid of him. I, I don't think that. I think it's going to be a, a more of a mutual thing if he leaves. I think that if he absolutely wanted to stay, that they would. They but there's would no bring way they're going to have both quarterbacks. That would be investing over seventy-five million dollars in two. They're not going to. They're not going to keep both quarterbacks at their current price, but he's also said that if he went somewhere, he would sign a incentive-laden contract, anyways. Which means if he stayed with the Colts, he might want to do that too. Okay. So, uh, all right, that's it. We'll that's all we got. Tape. We'll <laughs> save that tape. Yeah, we'll say, save it. Save it. We'll come back because I want to see. Uh, I want to see who's right. Me. Um, anyways, uh, thanks for joining us for no, our I'm first. Not, I'm not done actually. Okay. Um, I, I All right. Well, I'm gonna still thank you for joining us. But <laughs> 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 um, I, 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 um, I read a tweet. BT is all, all on Twitter. I read something about Josh Hamilton, and there is there some sex tape of rumor out there. Yeah, there's a rumor of people trying to sell a sex tape to a Dallas area news station. He it was the night that he uh, he was drinking. He went Rockstar, to the bathroom, baby. You gotta love that. Ball. I just, you know, he he just takes not off my I have. I hope it's not true. Yet another point. Yet true. another point. I wish Nick was here because Nick seems like he'd be all over that too. You know what? I'm. You know what? <laughs> so, so the whole thing with me is he's uh, he's all trying to preach to you how righteous he is about you know these a lot of these religious buffs. It's how they you know. On paper, they want to act one way, and then, you know, in real life, the dude's out there drinking and, and banging women on cameras and stuff. <laughs> you know what? I just, I don't know. I just kind of thought that was an interesting tweet. I'm like, 
Um, if, the, if that's true, man, whew, talk about a guy yeah. whose image is just going to get... No, no. Imagine right. his wife goes yeah. from finding out that her husband relapsed to end up having sex in the bathroom with some 20 something It wasn't with her, right? No. <laughs> Oh, I'm sure she was a real pig, but, uh, yeah, yeah this is, uh, this, uh, I mean, you know, it's just, it goes, it kind of takes you back to the, to the whole Tiger Woods thing. It's easy for us to sit here on our round table and, and sit here and act like what we would do if we were in that Rectangular situation. table. Whatever. But, but, check, but check this out. I mean, we're not Tiger Woods. We're not Josh Hamilton. No. I couldn't tell you what I would do in that situation. I could right. sit here and act like, you know what, I'm, I love my family. I love my wife. I'm not Tiger Woods. I don't got that kind of entourage and money and, right. and women throwing themselves at me. You know, it's, it's easy to sit there and play Mr. Righteous from afar. But, uh, you know, all these people that want to hate on Tiger Woods still, it's just get over it, man. Yeah. Get over it. So move on. I, I don't know. Move on. So I, he's not the only. He's just a. He's a public figure who did. Who did. Uh, who did things like that. He's not the only person who does things like that. I'm sure he's done a lot but, worse. You know. Yeah. I'm sure he's done a lot worse back when he was using drugs in the minor leagues. I mean, give me a break. Yeah. These people. The, the one thing that America and especially kids, which I blame them, I've been doing all my life, is they idolize athletes. Yes. You know, a lot of these athletes have been spoon-fed because they're so good at sports since they were kids. That's true. You know, and a lot of them have been getting away with That's a good the, point. not going to class, Reggie Bush. Che- cheating on tests, having other people take their tests, skipping class altogether because they're such good athletes. This happens in high school. I saw it at my high school. Right. What you a know? great point. So, so it's, to me, it's, I mean, these people aren't... They aren't the people we should be looking up to, even though I do, with, with a passion. But They're not used to paying the piper. They're not used no. to having to, to deal with consequences because when you deal with consequences, you don't get to play the sport. And the, the, the school, the team, they invest in you. They need you to play that sport. So all that stuff gets yeah. covered up. You're right. They get, you know, it, they're used to everything being handed to them, yep. you know. And, uh, you know, it's like a, 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 a rich kid all of a sudden without money when they become an adult, they don't know what to do. You yeah, know? no, it's, I mean, you and it's, it follows them all the way up through college. You know, this uh, all, it's right. recently just been coming out that these guys are getting paid. I mean, come on, how long has this been going on? You know, it's, you just, know, it's just finally starting to make You know, you hear, play. like, about NFL players and stuff. All these teams have, like, car services and stuff for when they go out and, and they still go get DUIs and stuff, you know. Now, now, we don't have a car service. We just have the responsibility and know that you don't have a job, you know. And, uh, you know, it's, that's what happens when you make a lot of money, you know. Yeah, I, um, when the starting running back of Florida State is driving a Benz, okay, yeah. there's something wrong with that. Yeah. Okay, when, he, when he's from the streets of Georgia and he's like a five-star recruit and he's driving around in a Benz, yeah. that's no, no, no. it's Reggie Bush from Helix High School. Yeah, in yeah. a brand new house and that right. SUV yeah. out front. Yeah, yeah. So well, that's all I got. So, uh, well, I appreciate you bringing up that last subject. That was a uh, very interesting. <laughs> Just trying to, to think of yeah. something on top of my head here. It's not. Uh, I do need to ask you, uh, Darren. Is it okay if I end the show now? Um, I don't really have anything else I want to talk about. No. Um, as of yet, I mean, we've got baseball season ready to start up, so yeah. I'm looking forward to that. All right. Um, any other stories in the news? Kind of covered it. We covered the uh, the guys getting all the hype because he's Asian. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, only because yeah. he's Asian. Lynn Sanity. Yeah. And if you're black, you're not allowed to say anything uh, because uh, you get criticized. Oh, black. yeah. Monday Night oh. Football. Who gives a shit? How about that other, other Fox? Oh, yeah. How about that other Fox Sports guy that says... Uh, you know, the one commenting on the jock size of Mr. Lynn. Oh, yeah, you, I, I, I read about that. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, it was a February guy from Fox Sports sent out a tweet saying, uh, some lucky girl in NYC is going to get a couple inches of pain tonight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's probably going to be any more true either. <laughs> I think if somebody tried to be funny, see that that doesn't offend me. No. I think if somebody that's trying to be funny, you you actually laughed about it when I actually heard about it. I was just like, huh, you know, all right, you know, he's trying to be funny. Maybe it didn't hit, didn't didn't. Uh, that is maybe funny. I, that is yeah. funny. Yeah, okay. That's, that's funny. funny. To a that's funny. We got three exact different reactions. You thought it was uh, funny. I thought that it was an attempt at humor, way, but not that like, funny. Like now I like Josh Hamilton even more. And, I thought like I'm the and, scumbag of the score. Uh, and here. and BT thought it was offensive. So I'm, so, uh, I'm the dickhead here. I mean, yeah. I You're kind of in the middle. You know, there's, yeah. there's certain things I don't like. I don't like talking about another guy's size. You know, it's just not? Because it's just not funny. It's not his fault. Yeah. No, yeah, 100% yeah. I agree with that. Hey. I mean, come on, man. I agree, too. <laughs> But it's still, it's still funny. I mean, we don't know. For all yeah. like, we can, you can have a... Yeah. Yeah. It's not like his shorts fell down while he was taking a free throw. Nobody really knows. <laughs> there we go. What another great point by Darren. All right. <laughs> and with that, we are going to go ahead and bring our first uh, live stream to an end here. Um, I'm a little boy from the Fat Man and Little Boy Show. Uh, you can uh, reach me on Twitter, at LBHost. Um, I'm Darren from uh, Pound for Pound Sports Talk, PFPSports.com. My Twitter is uh, at Darren PFP Sports. Uh, me and my co-host Nick, who couldn't be with us tonight, um, do a weekly netcast, MMA netcast, all yes. kinds of sports stuff. 
Very good. Suck it. <laughs> I'm BT. Uh, you follow me at BT on PMLB and on tw- uh, Facebook at uh, facebook.com forward slash BT on PMLB. All right. And uh, with that, I say uh, take care. Cheers. Have a good one. Uh...